What's up, everybody? This is Robert and Julia from Bugging Me TV, also now known as RV Mobile Rescues. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, look, at, we'll post on our link on our site once we're done. But we're going to the NRVTA. We kind of mentioned that before. We'll be going to the NRVTA for our certification. And this van here is a 2021 Ram Promaster that we've been building out. And say hello to to the world. Yeah. So we're gonna start up here in the front. Uh, we've got everything running here, and you can see that we actually have. Our navigation system installed, that's all running, all well and good. And we've got the Reflectix and all of that, but oh, what is this? We have lights. So we'll actually zoom out here. Oh, what's this? We've got a refrigerator down here too. That's right, folks, we got our wiring up and running. We've got our we're charging some lighting right here that we've been using. And uh, you can see here I got the 12 volt plugged in uh, on the left, which is going down to the refrigerator. And then I've got the USB dongle plugged in, charging the flashlights. And then over here, if girl wants to let there be more light on our nice dimmer switch, there we go, we made it a lot brighter. And here's the Luetti AC300 and a single B300 battery. And you'll notice here that I've got four cables plugged in, which is for these uh, 120 outlets, which do work. We've already tested them, and you can see we, we marked them number one, number two, number three, number four. And there's a corresponding number on each of the wires, so that if for some reason we're not getting power, for whatever reason we can just check and see if maybe there's something wrong with the outlet but these are easy to swap because they're just a, a little screw in cup on the back of them and you can just pull the thing right out it's just a simple extension cord so moving over here i changed out the distribution panel and it, you know excuse how it looks right now i haven't actually done the wire looming or anything like that but there will be a wire loom that makes this look all nice and pretty but right here we've got the marine grade distribution panel and then right next to it is where the solar disconnect is going to be going uh, the, the last little bit of the electrical that's got to be done is the solar panels so once we've got the wire run we'll have to take this panel off and run it down we're bringing it right through here through the roof it's going to come straight down through and run down into this uh, right now we're not moving anywhere with this because we still have to anchor down the refrigerator. We got to finish anchoring down the batteries. We also have to anchor down this portable toolbox. Um, right now it's just kind of sitting there, but this is the rest of the tool system. It's all modular and we got all of our little tools and bells and whistles in here. And the bottom two are already anchored. This top piece can come off and these guys can come off. And yeah, you can see right there, she's just doing, doing the Vanna White thing. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, you can see here, we've, we've actually got light now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these cargo lights because we don't need them anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, this is me all the way back at the corner here. You can see we've got all the Reflectix and this thing actually stays pretty cool. The only other piece that's not in here is uh, an EcoFlow Wave 2 portable air conditioning unit that we're actually getting to use in the RV, uh, but we can also use it in this. It has its own battery source that'll run for six to eight hours, but if it's plugged into one of these outlets here, I'll be using the battery system in here, and then if for whatever reason I run out of battery and the, all the, the coach loses power, it will still continue to run AC, so that'll give us a secondary uh, AC source for the RV when we're doing our NRVTA training. If the power goes out on the pedestal, we have about seven hours on the coach battery, and then when that goes out, we have an additional six to eight hours on the EcoFlow, so our little kitty cats won't have to worry about having a stroke. And we also got a pet monitor that is cellular that when it detects that the power has gone completely out, it will send us a notification right away to let us know. It will monitor the temperature and the humidity, but we still know we have a six hour window where we can get over there and get it taken care of. So anyway, that's probably way more than you guys needed to know. 
because uh, this video was intended to kind of show this off, but we wanted to give you guys a little more of a complete picture about what we're really planning to do. Um, and right now, just so you know, this refrigerator, I've got it set in eco mode and it's uh, currently at 86. If I move this over to full on mode where the compressor kicks in, it'll start going down a lot faster. I got it set at 32. We're just gonna let it run on straight batteries. Right now with everything running in here, with all the lights, char lights on, everything's charging, the refrigerator's running, it was only pulling about 80 watts. 86 at the max. 86 at the max. So that's pretty darn good. And we're gonna have 800 watts of solar on the roof. And then we've got uh, 3,076 watt hours on the single battery. And there's enough room in this cabinet to add a second one down the road. The unit will control up to four. Uh, obviously, I can't do four and keep this cabinet in here. So if we ever get to that point, we'll have to come up with a different solution for this uh, to make sure it's secured. But anyway, it was great talking to you. And we'll see you on the next one.